Kirstie Alley was on the Today Show in early in the 8 o'clock hour. Mm-hmm. At about 8.07 or 8.08, she got on. Now, Kirstie Alley, for those of you who remember her from Cheers, is, was a very funny mm-hmm. actress in mm-hmm. the sitcom mm-hmm. Cheers. Mm-hmm. Very funny. She won an Emmy. She won Golden Globe Awards. She was very funny. Mm-hmm. She was the second sort of semi-love interest of Sam Malone. Mm-hmm. Not really love with her, but, you know, after Shelley Long they had left, a thing. Shelley Long, who... <laughs> Career ender for yes. Shelley Long. That was not a good Began to believe that shells. she was the next Marilyn Monroe, I guess. <laughs> and so her career tubed in the movies, and, and they bring in Kirstie Alley, as opposed to what happened when Woody Harrelson came on because the other Nicholas Colasanto died. Right. So, right. you know, he didn't make a bad career move. Well, he did make a bad career move, but he died. Yeah. Okay, so it was different. <laughs> died, literally died. So, and Cheers lasted 10, 12 years. It was a great show. Everybody knows about it. And then Kirstie Alley be- became equally as famous or infamous over the next few years for getting fat and yeah. really yeah not not chubby no really not zofting really <laughs> fat like like i would say christy alley today she appeared to be a pretty big girl like 5'10 or 5'11 mm-hmm. like pretty tall uh, yeah probably yeah. but she had to weigh and please take every opportunity to tell me if you think i'm wrong she had to go significantly over 200 pounds. Oh, she's 250. You know, oh, yeah, significantly over 200 pounds. Yeah. And as a result of that, two things happened. One, she went on uh, with Valerie Bertinelli and mm-hmm. famously lost weight for one of those. Jenny, Jenny Craig, Craig, I guess, I think, was Jenny yeah. Craig. Yeah. And two, she did sort of a Romana Clay mm-hmm. uh, called Fat Actress. And it was very funny. Because she's funny. It was very yeah. funny. She lost a bunch of weight. She lost like 75 pounds. Mm-hmm. And as they showed on the clip today... Even went on Oprah in a bikini. Now, I'm not going to tell you that this looked like, you know, Maria Menounos. Because it didn't. She's still a large, zoftic woman. Mm -hmm. But God bless her for doing that, Mm -hmm. for feeling good enough about herself to do that. Fine. So now she's gotten really fat again Mm -hmm. and is doing a reality show about how fat she is and about how she's attempting to lose weight with the aid now of her children, it appears. Mm -hmm. It all, all makes for an interesting story because Kirstie Alley is sort of fun. She's mm-hmm, fun. Mm-hmm. Before they get to Kirstie Alley Live, they do a taped piece explaining her circumstance. At the end of the taped piece, uh, while still on tape, but towards the concluding 30 or 40 seconds, they bring on a guy from The Hollywood Reporter on tape. And he says, you know, the, the question about this is Kirstie Alley has this new diet plan that costs about $1,700 a year. By the way, these diet plans are not free. Oh. Oh, like yeah. Weight Watchers, Nutrisystems, oh, yeah. they're not pay, free. Pay you pay for the food, and the food can be expensive. Mm-hmm. So it says about $1,700 or $1,900 or whatever it is. It's, it's a significant amount of money. And the guy says, and the question is, that because she's a Scientologist, a famous Scientologist, which, by the way, I, did, I didn't know. Mm-hmm. I knew about Cruz and Travolta. Mm-hmm. I didn't she know about is. her, but mm-hmm. fine. Uh, because she's a famous Scientologist, people wonder where the money is going, where the, where the profits might go. And the guy points out, he said, the headquarters of her diet plan is in Clearwater, Florida, in the same building as the headquarters of the Church of Scientology. So this is mentioned. Mm-hmm. And, and, it's, and the, the piece sort of ends on this question mark. Mm-hmm. And Meredith Vieira, now they come live. Now they're live. Live television. No seven-second delay. <laughs> As I'm going to get to. <laughs> I think I know where this is going. <laughs> so Meredith Vieira says, you know, I, I wasn't going to make a big deal about the Scientology thing, but it seemed like you mm-hmm. were really animated when that went on. So, so w- you know, what do you think? Will the profits go there? And Kirstie Alley says the following words. That's bull. And she completes that word. Mm. Oh, really? She uses the four-letter word that's not allowed on radio or television. Even Well, allowed, but not on network, no. I don't think. No, cable. Not, not cable, yeah. yeah. Not network. She says that out loud, out loud, and then her next sentence is, I can say the word bull, and she uses can it I? again on air, can't I? <laughs> no, Tony. <laughs> and Meredith Vieira screams, no, no, <laughs> but it's too late. Actually, no, you can't. <laughs> it's too late. Oh, my. And Kirstie Alley, you know, and, and, but Meredith Vieira then says, well, is this money going to go? And, and then Kirstie Alley, in, in some rambling answer about the people in Scientology, says, oh, my, you know, it, it happens that the only reason it's there is because that's my accountant's office in Clearwater. Mm-hmm. And then she goes, and my accountant's a Scientology Jew. Like that. <laughs> Blasting me out of my seat again for the third time in 30 seconds. 
Must see TV. <laughs> what a wow that was. I mean, that's just a wow. That's like takes Feinstein and raises him. Go, goes all in with what Junior would do. Now, there's plenty of times when I've wanted to curse on the air. Sure. <laughs> and plenty of times I've almost cursed on the air. But I haven't. Yeah. I've actually not cursed yeah. on the air. And, and, and it was like w- stunning, right? I, I, I'm i hearing this for the first time. That is pretty it's breathtaking. A no, that's much better than health care. Yeah. <laughs> so what do we – now what happened? I guess what happens. Nothing. You didn't go to jail. I mean, no, she's nothing excited. happened. <laughs> nothing happens. But if you're Meredith Vieira – now this happens. You have budgeted now 10 or 11 minutes. Yeah. Kirstie Alley's a big get. Yeah, yeah. Kirstie Alley's going to be fun. Thank People are going to watch Kirstie mm-hmm. Alley. You budgeted 10 minutes. In the first 30 <laughs> seconds, she's used the BS word twice, and she's made a, an ethnic reference that is uh, sort of dicey. <laughs> wow. So I continued to watch, hoping, <laughs> hoping that Kirstie would drop the F-bomb. <laughs> hoping. Because it just can't, it, it was almost couldn't get any better than this. Before 9 a.m. No, yeah, it was pretty good. That's good. Yeah, it was Kirstie Alley. So and I, I would watch her show, because I've always I'll found watch- her I'll an attractive wa- person. Whenever she's on, I'll watch her. Yeah. She is funny. You know, now she's lost some weight, but she's still well over two bills right now. Wow. She's wow. still well over two. She has this thing where she now has cameras all over her house. So mm-hmm. when the paparazzi Why? go up against her rose bushes, she begins to film the paparazzi yeah. who then run away. <laughs> <laughs> they run away. And then she begins to try to film their license plates on their little cars. Yeah. And then they drive away right. as fast right. as they can. So that is turning the tables, which Absolutely. I seems fair. Completely applaud. <laughs> seems fair on that. <laughs> Did you like her on Cheers? Did you see her? On- I, I was not a big Cheers follower, but when I saw it, of course, she is very likable. I mean, yes. a woman of substance. You know, I liked her in that those baby movies where the baby talks. Oh, oh look baby. who's talking. Who's yeah. talking. Yeah. Very good. I, I, yes. I, I yes. saw a little bit of those. Mm-hmm. No, no, no. She is funny. I always uh, liked her. Seemingly an original, mm-hmm. you know. Yeah. Happy to admit, woman. by yeah. the way, and she was happy to admit today that she was a cocaine addict. <laughs> <laughs> and she was a food addict. And, you know, she just, you know, it's just like, you, I guess you reach a point. Where there's there's not only nothing to hide, you sort of revel in your flaws because yeah. people seem to yeah. be happy. But yeah. you know, trading on your personal demons, it, it just creeps me out. Yeah. I, you know, not to wag yeah. a finger at yeah. her, but yeah. you know, I think we all identify with people with a struggle. Um, and, and I love people who are comfortable enough in their skin to talk about it. But trading on it, like, come watch me. Eat. Lose this. <laughs> yeah, just, I'll be eating today from eight to eleven. <laughs> Come on, me.